What's up, everybody? So, you know what? We got a problem. <sighs> Good help is hard to find. Uh, it really is. Uh, my detailer and my tunnel attendant, both the same person, walked off the job today. Um, that kind of sucks. Uh, I went home to get my uh, migraine meds, and um, while I was gone, he decided to let me know that he no longer wanted to work his shift, and because I was able to leave and go get my migraine meds, he should have been able to have the whole day off and I should have to cover for him. So um, sometimes you just gotta let people go. And I let him go by himself. So he had told me that if he wasn't gonna be able to go, that he was just gonna lock up and leave. So I said bye, in which he locked up and he left. Um, and took off and I came in and a minute and a half later and started washing cars because that's what we do here we wash cars so um, you know you really need to have dedicated workers who work like you um, and for any of you out there that work like me it's really really hard to find people that work like us um, non-stop you know you're always thinking about work doesn't matter if you're trying to enjoy yourself you're not enjoying yourself you're in bed late at night you're on a camping trip whatever you're thinking about work that's how I am I can't turn it off I wish I could turn it off I can't this is uh this is the, the hallway at the wash so it's uh it's negative 20 out right now we don't have any cars doesn't mean I'm closed though right you know people will be like oh why aren't you closed you know no because I have a heated tunnel. There it is, hey. This is it, that's my wash. It's pretty cool, nice and lit up. Um, yeah, so, uh, just had this bad boy installed right up there. This all lights up when you come in and uh, you pay for a wash. It's all automated, goes off of license plate reader technology. Can't see out right now because it is so frosty. It is so frosty. I should really etch some of that away, but I don't want to scratch it. So um, this used to be an old tunnel. It was crazy. Uh, I'll have to drop in some points. So all of this is brand new. Uh, it's controlled by my station over here. Got the hose out because it's extra salty. Uh, this controls everything. It's really an awesome system. Um, I'll take you through the wash real quick. So we got, we got wraps, we got mitters, we got rockers, we got wheel brushes, we got a conveyor. This is a 125 EDT from Sunny's. We got wheel blasters, uh, Omni blaster, another mitter, more rockers, a shovel. This must have come out of the last guy's vehicle this is why you do not let people through with stuff um i thought the shovel would uh stay in there i guess not i guess we got a free shovel so um this is my ro tank it's reverse osmosis water that's for the spot free rinse for those of you who don't know it's my tire shiner liquid there's my mighty extractor so my detail equipment we do do details here uh and it's nice and heated up in here as well so I do have a frozen floor drain. Um, I actually think it's sediment. I don't think it's frozen. Um, here's another view of the tunnel. It's a nice tunnel. It's a really nice setup. Um, it all looks nice and new still because it is all nice and new. I have a customer. I got a customer. Okay, so I'm gonna try and uh, get this person on camera. I know they're a member, so uh, they're gonna come right on through. I'm not gonna have time. They're probably there already. So. Um, yeah, they're gonna come on through. Let's see, it's all lit up now. It's all lit up. So here we go. I'm gonna turn the lights off. I'm gonna have them come through. Just like that.
So it's always nice to go above and beyond for your customers. Uh, pretty cool setup that we have here. So I'll take you on through because we don't have any more cars. I don't know. Uh, I'm not quite sure which wash he got. I wasn't paying attention. So he probably just got a regular old deluxe. His car wasn't that dirty. So here we go. Yeah, he just got a deluxe wash, otherwise uh, the fusion rinse would have activated. So there's my Omni Blaster up there. It's just going to town. Everything else, we're getting that triple foam on there. Emitters are going. All right. So it's doing its job up there. It's not really getting anything fancy. Uh, standard wash and now the blowers are going to turn on as he goes through it to take a minute so it's he's getting his final rinse right now and uh, those LEDs should turn on there they go I got 12 blowers in there going 100 miles an hour or something like that and it's pretty crazy uh, people's stuff can be ripped right off. Not that it does happen at our place, but it can. It absolutely can. Let's go see if anybody else is waiting. Uh, I'm the only one here, you know. It doesn't really suck. I do have stuff I have to do. There's no one waiting. Okay. So this is the spot for the day. Um, this is what we got to do. We got to take care of our customers. Uh, we have unlimited memberships here, so we need to stay open. We need to be open as much as we can. When it snows, when it rains, sleets, stuff like that, uh, bad storms, we close. Some people understand that. Most, most of our customers, they all understand that. A lot of people do not. So inclement weather people, um, why are you getting your car washed in negative 25? Please tell me why. Uh, I get it. I'm open because of you. Um, I'm just, I'm open because I'm tired of the people sending me messages and saying, why are you closed? Well, it's negative 20 out. Uh, the water's going to stick to your car and it can actually damage your car. So that's why I'm closed. Um, so that's the way it goes. So I'm back here. Um, employees, you know, um, if you're just starting at a wash and the wash is slow, which mine is right now, um, you really have to get your team straightened out, getting your employees straightened out, getting your manager straightened out. Um, you really need to put yourself first when it comes to scheduling uh, and money making. Um, you need to put the business first before yourself, then, then you come. But, Anybody that you hire on is somebody that you are doing a favor for. You are paying them. And if you continue to pay them and pay them well and give them raises, you shouldn't owe them anything at all. Uh, whatever the terms you have with your employees is the terms that they agree to. If they agree to working weekends and they agree to um, not needing time off and et cetera, six days a week, I know people that work 12 days in a row, 12 hour shifts, no problem, and they do just fine. Yet I can't seem to find anybody that wants to work more than 20 hours a week. I got one guy who I absolutely have to rely on and it sucks that I have to rely on him. 
because I can't rely on anybody else. Um, it's not, it doesn't suck that I have to rely on him as a person. He's a good person and he does a good job, but it seems like he's the only person that I can rely on in this business. Um, and it's hard to pay people nine, ten dollars an hour and expect them to want more, to do more. So uh, I'm struggling with that. Um, I just I want I want people to work like I work, um, and not everybody's going to work like that. Um, so get employees that are going to work hard. Uh, reward the ones that do work hard. Fire the ones that give you crap. Don't put up with anybody's BS. Don't put up with anybody thinking that, um, you know, you managers out there, nobody is on the same level as you. Nobody in this business is on the same level as you um, when it comes to being a general manager. Don't think that your detailer is gonna dictate um, how you're gonna run the business. Don't think that your tunnel attendant or your assistant manager is gonna tell you how to run things. That's not the way it works. You need to tell them how to run things and if they're a good manager like I do have, then they will just do it for you and you'll be able to walk away from whatever you got going on uh, and feel good about the situation. I don't necessarily feel good about my situation right now um, and that has nothing to do with my manager. He's a great guy. He does everything I need him to. He needs his time off though, right? Um, and unfortunately, this business is not producing enough in its downtime because I have zero marketing dollars. Um, not that I'm not, a, I can't market if I, I, if I wanted to put the credit card in, yes, I could do marketing. But I'm not and we are not as a business right now because we wanted to get in 90 days to see how we, how we would perform without any advertising, without doing anything. And we're doing well. We got 400 members on, um, that's $12,000 a month in memberships coming in. Um, it's lucrative, right? It's, it, that's 12,000 guaranteed dollars. Now, you gotta worry about your churn rate and you gotta worry about um, maintaining memberships and upselling memberships, um, details, etc. So I got another one coming in. I think it's a member. Here we go, baby, here we go. All right. Got two of them.
Two of them. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Woo. So, I had to run a customer a piece of sheet metal to the exit of the wash so that it wasn't flapping around. Like you saw that shovel, the blowers will just get it out of there. This guy's got a premium fusion wash. You can see the premium lights are on, fusion. Really cool process. So I'm gonna let you guys go for the day. I got some cars to wash. So keep your employees in check. Get it, send it. <laughs>